Hey everyone, it's Kayla Ashley Plans. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'm doing another November plan with me, but this time it's going to be a Thanksgiving theme. What I like to do is I like to give multiple themes and options for these plan with me's for one month, just so that you can see different themes and different ideas and stuff like that for your own bullet journal. So I hope that you enjoyed this one and let's get started. To start off, I wanted to incorporate some watercolor into this month's bullet journal and I'm sketching out a pumpkin. I'm using watercolor paper because I don't want to ruin my bullet journal paper and this is a cheap bullet journal I got from Walmart so the paper is already thin so it just wouldn't work. Instead of watercolor paint, I'm actually using these markers and they're from American Crafts and I believe they're called the Colors of Memories or something like that. I got them from Marshalls for about $10 and when I first got them, I said that they were brush markers and I thought that that meant I could use them for lettering because I thought they were a flexible brush tip, but they're not. They're like Crayola Super Tip markers almost. However, I did notice that these blend beautifully, so I wanted to try using them with water to see what effect I would get if I watercolored them. So I drew out the pumpkin and then I shaded in some different areas with these colors. I erased the pencil lines that I had previously and then I went in with a brush that I dipped into water and I just started blending in the colors and you'll see that these colors blend in so beautifully and they really do look like watercolor. So it's a super easy way to get a watercolor painting and you can also be precise with it and you don't have to spend so much time laying down any color. For the cover page, I wanted to do a wreath-like design, and it's not a wreath per se, but it does have that effect. I went in with these fine liners in different shades of brown and tan, and I just kept creating this circle, and I'm not being precise or anything, I'm just being messy, and this is how it turned out. Then I drew a cornucopia, and I used my Crayola Super Tips to color and shade this in. I thought that the cornucopia was very fitting for Thanksgiving, um, and it looks really cool around the wreath in my opinion. So after I drew that, I drew all of the fruits and vegetables coming out of it. So I have things like grapes, I have a leaf even, I have carrots, pumpkins, apples, um, wheat, uh, just anything that I kind of saw off of the inspiration pages that I looked at. To create more definition, I went back in with a fine liner and I just outlined all of this. I like doing this after the coloring because I feel like it gives it more of a kind of cartoony effect and I really like the way that it comes out. So now I'm going to letter in November and I'm using this brush pen that I actually got from Wish and I think that it's very good. I believe that I am better using this than the Tombow brush pens. So I'm super excited about them. There will be a Wish video coming soon, so do not miss out on that. Then back to the pumpkin, I'm writing be thankful always, and the top is just in a print font, and then the bottom is in calligraphy. To eliminate the bulk, I just copied the painting with my printer and I printed it out and I have a really cheap printer, it's not good quality, so it doesn't look the same. It kind of has the same effect though and it's better than your notebook just being really heavy and these pages again are so flimsy so if I taped watercolor paper on it they'd probably rip from the weight. So I just taped that on and I think that it looks really cute. So moving on, I'm going to be doing the calendar spread, and for this I just did a regular calendar layout, 
I don't think that I did the dimensions correctly because when I looked at it while I was finished, it kind of looks a little bit uneven, but just do whatever um, layout your journal allows you to do or that you enjoy to do. Um, I created space at the top so I could add color like I like to do normally. Um, it just kind of brings the spread together in my opinion. I left space at the top of the very top boxes to add color but also to write the days of the week in this cursive font. Going back to that same brush pen, I'm just lettering November. I'll actually link this brush pen in the description box if you're interested. It was free technically with $2 shipping, so it was $2, which I think is a really good deal, especially with how well it's performing. It's super black and easy to use. So then I went in with my Crayola Super Tips and I just colored each of the boxes. I wanted to go in an every other order, but as you can see, I clearly messed up. So I just tried hiding that by going over it with the other color. But I think that this gives the look of a really put together spread and it adds a pop of color. Then I added the dates at the top corner of each box. And on the right hand side, since there was space, I decided to do Thanksgiving themed food. Um, so I have corn, I have an eggplant, I have pumpkins, grapes, pie, apples. I don't know if grapes are included, but I saw that in some of the inspiration posts I was looking at. I also know that an eggplant is not orange, but I wanted to kind of stick with the same colors and not just throw in a random pop of purple or red or whatever. So then I went in and I outlined it again using the fine liner so that it kind of has more of a cartoony look. The last spread for this video is going to be the weekly spread, and I did something really simple. I did a banner at the top um, and wrote October 29th and November 4th in these flags. And then I went back in with those fine liners before and I created those wreaths um, just to kind of tie in the first page with the weekly spread. I went in and I added the numbers of the week and then the way that I did the weekly layout is just kind of a banner going all the way down like a flag just to create the same kind of cohesiveness. I don't know what my vision was for this spread but I wanted it to be a little bit like messy but still comfy and cozy. I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm going in with my Crayola Super Tips and added drop shadows, and then I'm using those watercolor markers again and just adding these stripes, um, and then I'm going in with the watercolor. Again, this paper is not very good for water, so it didn't uh, come out with a crinkle-free paper, but it does still look really cool. I like the effect of the color that it gave the flag I guess I would call it but it also kept that kind of streakiness and I think it looked really cool in the end so that is it for this video here is an overview of everything that I did I really love the way that this front page turned out with the pumpkin and then with the wreath I think that they look really gorgeous and they're perfect for the November theme I also enjoyed the way that the other ones turned out because they all have sort of that cartoony, messy, but still cute vibe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know down below. Or if you have a video in mind that you'd like to see, let me know down below. Don't forget to watch my last two videos um, where I did the NBA layout for my boyfriend's bullet journal and I also did bullet journaling for students. Also, if you're interested in seeing my spread, I put pictures of it on my Instagram, which is at Kayla Ashley Plans, but I also have a video of me setting that up in my bullet journal on my channel, so you can go check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and put on that bell notification button so that you know when I post. I hope you all have a great day, a great November, and if you celebrate, a great Thanksgiving. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you.